actually, I have had uh, three different fellowships in three different categories. Um, when I joined the Ghana Atomic Energy Commission, I was an uh, assistant research scientist. And at uh, that time, Ghana was going to have the miniature neutron source reactor in NSR. That was the time that we, we, I was appointed. So during that time, they gave me a fellowship form and I filled. And I went to Canada uh, uh, 1996 for three months, a fellowship training in the, in the application of the uh, reactor. Then I came back and I started working on what I learned from Canada. And then in 1999 too, they awarded me another three months. If I've not gotten that PhD, somewhere to get a PhD, even though I'll be publishing, becoming a good scientist, I'll still be below the, the mark that will push me to where I am now as a, a director. Sometimes we advertise, no, even nobody applies because they don't have the requisite qualification to apply for that job. So when they are here introduce the PhD sandwich program, we're able to fill all those uh, uh, positions. For example, if you are not, because our school is a graduate school, if you don't have a PhD, you cannot lecture because we don't want masters to be lecturing masters. And then it comes a problem. The university does not allow that. So we have to fill the vacancy. Previously, at the faculty level, myself and my boss at that time, was Akaho, where the only people, two people teaching the whole nuclear engineering department, is only I have to go to nuclear engineering to teach, and I come to uh, nuclear physics uh, department teach. So I was teaching a lot of <laughs> uh, courses and supervising a lot of students. So when we, they graduated the master's degree and the IE offered them the PhD sandwich program, they, they went, came back to them. So both academically and research and uh, management, uh, this uh, fellowship has helped us fill so many uh, positions that were being, being vacant by now. The PhD sandwich program is a very a good tool for, especially, I'm not talking about it, but for Ghana, we have benefited a lot from, from this uh, uh, cap, uh, human capacity but for our institution and then the school. So this is a good idea. It also exposes you to how things are done elsewhere because you stay in your country. And this nuclear field is not a, an ordinary uh, uh, science. It's a more advanced science. So if you're exposed to other regions and advanced countries, it opens your mind and you'll be able, you'll be able to think uh, wider than the narrow thing that is your country. So uh, depending upon if you are, people are exposed to different type of doing things, they think differently. Uh -huh. So that's, that's a good thing to expose uh, people, especially from our world, to different laboratories and how different things are done and different, in different organizations.